just jumping through the puberty blues uh, again which was an important film in its own little way for australia because it was a teenage story which yep. hadn't really been told up to that point no it was, it was, it was a, fun, a fun movie uh, um, worst location in the world no, no nothing worse is shooting a movie on a, a, a sun-baked beach mm. you have uh, sand blowing everywhere you have to erect an actual house to change the film because sand would blow into the uh, camera and grind it all to nothing and um, no no it was it was hell and you know just actually being out there 10 and 12 hours a day in the blazing sun I mean I can remember the crew first day all arrived in their bloody bikinis and little shorts three days later we looked like a bunch of Arabs already <laughs> <laughs> did you find the same thing with breaking around out in the desert the sand getting into everything no well um, Break them around, but mud was more our problem than sand. Mm. Yeah. Now, there's one here that I confess I haven't seen, but it intrigued me. The Tempest with Paul Mazursky. Mm. Um, you should see it. And you've done a couple with Paul Mazursky since then. I did then. four with Paul. Right. Um, what was it like working? And this is your first real American director that you've worked with? Uh, 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 Tempest was the film that broke me into the States. Yeah. Uh, so how did that come about? Three th films, Break and Morant, My Brilliant Career and Getting of Wisdom, which we mentioned, mm. all opened to a fluke within about two weeks in New York. Uh, the uh, local journalists eventually found out that they were all shot by the same guy and took a little interest in that. And so did um, Paul's secretary, who said, you should see these three films this guy from Australia shot. And... Paul, for some reason, was fixated about somebody being able to hand, handle the harsh sun of Greece. God knows what that was. <laughs> Australia, Greece. <laughs> yeah, so, anyway, so I get this phone call three o'clock in the morning, and the outcome was uh, that um, uh, I'd go to uh, Athens for two weeks with him, and we'd run around Greece. At the end of two weeks, he'd decide whether he wanted to use me, and uh, he did. And it was a fantastic experience. I shot in New York and a fair bit of Greece. And, um, and that, that film was the entree to the A-team in the States. From there. Yeah, and it was yeah. John Cassavetes, yeah. um, Gina yeah. Rollins, Rolls, I think. Yeah. So, you know, again, <coughs> so you Raul jumped Ju right into the deep Raul, end. Raul Julia, yeah. yeah. Yes, and, and you're doing Shakespeare. Yeah. <laughs> That's a way to start in America. Yeah. Um, jumping forward a bit, and another one that I haven't seen, but again, really intrigued me, Harry and Son, co-written, directed and starring Paul Newman. Yep. So what was that like? I mean, how did that happen? Well, um, well I was invited to shoot it. Um, Paul was directing. He wasn't a great director. Was it first, first and only he's done, directed, I think? Uh, I don't I know what else so. he's done. You couldn't meet a nicer guy. Um, uh, and um, it, it, it was a mediocre film. I mean, I had a lot of fun shooting it with him, but I, I sort of realised that it was... Uh, well, here's a case where, lovely as the man may be, he's a great actor, yeah. not an experienced director. Um, is this a case where you're helping them a lot more than you would with other people? Yeah, um, and I was helping him too much, uh, but I had to. That's that's when you know you're you're in trouble when you know when you you're stepping into areas that you shouldn't step into, and you're being welcomed in there. Mm. Uh, well, and, this is why he asked you along. He needs the support. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I did, but um, and um, it it the the film is is, um, is quite you know, not not bad, but it's it's certainly not. What one I'd uh, no. recommend you bother looking at. <laughs> <laughs> I'll look, I'd look it up just at curiosity. Paul Newman and yourself working together. But Tempest I'd have a look at. It's Tempest good, looks interesting too. It's a good film. Yes. Um, and then Moscow and the Hudson, which actually was a big hit. Yeah. Uh, Robin Williams. Yeah. Uh, what is it like working with an actor like Robin Williams who never does the same thing twice as far as I know? <laughs> oh, you just keep, keep rolling. Um, Robin, Robin is great. I mean, he'll, uh, he, he, his, his pattern is pretty obvious. He, he does it the way you'd expect him to do it in the first take and then just hang on <laughs> and hang on and hang on and hang on. I mean, he will chew at it forever. And it's, uh, it's a... Uh, the biggest trouble is the hours you have to spend trying to keep up with him. Yeah. And the film you end up going through. 
Somebody <laughs> else pays for that. <laughs> Someone else has to cut it. <laughs> yeah. yeah.